Today we're out here in the garage and we're building shelves. They're gonna be strong, they're gonna look good, they're gonna fix wasted space. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so here's the CAD drawing and you can see that there's a total of four shelves. We have two over top of the garage and two on either side and they're connected into the attic by threaded rod to four by fours. Here's an animation showing how each of the parts uh, interact with each other and kind of assemble. You can see the threaded rods, the 4x4s, 2x4s, and the sheets of plywood that I'm going to be making these out of. So in the first step you can see me cut down all the materials down to their proper lengths so that it'll make the assembly process later a whole lot easier. Next, I measured out, pre-drilled, and installed screws for the assembly of the shelves. Then it was pretty easy to screw all the frame pieces together, flip it over, and then repeat that same process. Then I repeated that same process to create the two smaller shelves and the two larger shelves. One thing I chose to do was to give them a quick sand so the paint would look a little bit better. Now that I have this one up, I think I know what I'm doing. After finding the studs on the wall, I transferred those measurements to the shelves themselves and pre-installed four inch wood screws so that it would make installing these on the wall a whole lot easier. Although this would have been easier to do on the ground, I used a one inch paddle bit to drill five eighths of an inch into the two by four. And then I finished off by using a three eighths inch drill bit to go all the way through so that the threaded rod could go through, the washer and the nut could sit in here concealed. Next, I cut down the plywood to the exact sizes that I needed using a circular saw.
Next, I'm gonna test fit each one of the plywood sheets. My recommendation is cut them a little bit small. Uh, that way you can move them around and get them perfect and nobody will ever know. Then I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch drill bit and I'm gonna drill that hole through the plywood so that the threaded rod can actually go through the plywood pretty smooth. Maybe not the ideal way, but I cut the threaded rod with a metal blade on a jigsaw. To install the rod, I threaded it through the hole that we just drilled, and I used a level to make sure that it was going plumb straight up and down, marked that on the ceiling, and then used a drill to drill a 3 8 inch hole through the drywall. Then I installed the hardware on the bottom, a washer and a 3 8 inch nylon locking nut. I screwed these on three or four threads uh, just so that if it did back off we wouldn't have any problems, but not too much where the rod would be sticking out the bottom of the board. Here's the 4x4 that's going to go up in the attic. You can see that there's Craig jig screws on all four corners to lock it to the rafters in the attic. Then you can see we have two washers, maybe a little bit of overkill. Then there's the nylon lock washer and then the threaded rod that goes through the bottom. Yet again, I repeated the same process by installing the shelves. It really helped having a temporary 2x4 block screwed to the wall, and then also this 2x4 here that I used to prop up the end of the shelf and help me hold it. Off camera, I ended up painting the 2x4s white, and then I put a coat of Danish oil on the bottom side of the plywood. I also installed lag screws, three and a half inch lag screws every other stud, and then the studs that didn't get lag screws, I put two four inch decking screws in, so this thing's not going anywhere. I screwed down the plywood using two inch deck screws. Screws are cheap, I used a ton.
then using the same Danish oil I used on the bottom, I applied a heavy coat to the top. shelves are up and we're using them already. Uh, as you can see, I have a set of tires in there, I have a set of bins, and then also my snow blower. So we're, we're definitely utilizing them and it's definitely helping us with storage. And we're taking advantage of that wasted space that we weren't using above the garage door and then on either side of the garage door. For anybody that's thinking about doing this, this could be made into a super cheap project. I ended up using 12 two by fours, two sheets of plywood, and then three uh, things of threaded rod, three 10 foot lengths of uh, threaded rod which really weren't that expensive. So you could make this inexpensive. I didn't choose to go that route. Um, if I was taking the time to build it, I wanted to build it my way to match the theme with the rest of my house. So like my cabinets that I did a white color and then my workbench that I did white and natural wood, I went with a white and natural wood on this as well, just to, like I said, kind of go with that consistent theme. Uh, I went with threaded rod instead of running two by fours up there because I thought it would look a little bit more cleaner or a little cleaner, it would look cleaner. It would look more clean, however you say that. This way I didn't have that stringer board that was attached to the ceiling with two by fours coming down and connecting it. It looks like it's floating a little bit more. It, it, it looks pretty nice, I think. Uh, these things are super strong. I was up there jumping around on them like a little kid and they weren't budging or moving. Also, if you're thinking about doing this, you and a buddy, you could probably get this done in a weekend. Um, it took me about a week to do because I was doing it by myself with the whole virus thing and I was doing it after work, after school, uh, so I'd get a little bit done each night. And really the part that took the, the longest was the painting and the finishing of the plywood. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you like the shelves. Uh, if you are thinking about doing this and you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe so you can see some of my other projects that I'm doing. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you in the next one.